Hello everybody and welcome back to Easy Medicine. In today's video we're going to talk about bruises. Why did they change color and what do these colors mean? Before we get into the video, if you're new around here, consider subscribing for more medical content and of course leave a like rating if you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Let's start and talk about why you get bruises. You might bump into a doorway or you get hit in sports and due to that impact your soft tissues and connective tissues get compressed. Due to this compression small arteries and capillaries burst and as they burst they release blood into your connective tissue. This blood accumulates in place and forms a bruise. As blood accumulates in the tissues, this explains why the initial color of the bruise is red. The red color of blood comes from the hemoglobin in the red blood cells. Hemoglobin has in its oxygenized state a red color, but as it loses more and more oxygen, it gets deoxygenized and turns blue. This explains the blue color in a bruise. As the body is trying to degrade the bruise and the red blood cells in your connective tissue, macrophages, so white blood cells, arrive at the location and they degrade hemoglobin to biliverdine. And biliverdine has a natural green color. So after a few days, a green color appears in the bruise. And as not all of this is happening at the exact same time for all of the bruise, this explains why brews have so many different colors and the combination of red the hemoglobin oxygenized, blue hemoglobin deoxygenized and green biliverdine is a combination of all these colors of the rainbow and this explains why brews has so many different colors. So if you bump into something is there anything you can do to prevent a bigger bruise from appearing? Yes, there is. If it's a limb, try to lift it up so gravity is pushing back the blood back to the center of your body and this prevents from a big bruise to appear and apply coldness to the affected area because the coldness shrinks the diameter of the arteries and capillaries and so not that much blood is flowing out and the body can easily fix the leakage. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. I know